Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Okay, when the fins are dry, go ahead and remove this alignment jig. Um, just test them gently. Um, they're not glued on really good yet until we get that fin fillet on there. Um, so now we're going to do the same thing with the forward fins, the wings. Um, I've already gone ahead and sanded these. Um, and you can see that it conforms really nicely to that edge there. And then we're going to use this. And remember, always use the top on the top. So I'm just sliding that over. Do one final test fit. Me like that. Okay, and then we're going to glue those in place also. I should mention, if, if you have to elongate your slots, it's better to elongate them towards the tail than towards the front because that will move the fin further back, which is more stabilizing on the rocket. I just had you in there. There we go. Okay, and we'll just hold that in place until that glue dries. Now, what I think I'm going to do is uh, our next step in the instructions is actually put the tails, the vertical tail on. Um, what I think I might do is, is to go ahead and put the epoxy fillets on first because the tail uses just regular wood glue fillets. Um, in this way, um, it's a little easier to put on because without the tails, the rocket's not on an angle like that. Um, so I'm going to jump ahead, put those on first, and then I'll come back and put the tail fins on afterwards. But if you follow the instructions, that will be fine just as well.